Okay, welcome. Here's what we're gonna do today. First outdoor video of 2021. We've come for a walk in the Yorkshire countryside. I hadn't planned to do a video, but I thought I need to do something. I can't waste this countryside. And there's a few wintry showers forecast. So today we're doing top 10 winter fragrances from Perfume Parlor. Stay tuned. We're gonna find some snow today. Hopefully. Hopefully. Do you wanna find some snow today, Evie? Yeah! How about you? Bertie, you're all ready for it with your new jacket, aren't you? How smart do you look? So I was hoping for snow showers at the moment. We're getting more like sleet. So camera's getting wet and it's not the most pleasant of weather to walk in, but hopefully we'll get some snow. Anyway, we'll we'll walk and we'll talk and uh, we'll see what happens. Don't know how this video is going to turn out, but we'll get something, I'm sure. Let's go. As you can see, the traffic comes thick and fast on these country roads. So I like to do these perfume parlor videos once in a while, partly because I know you guys like to see them, and also I feel a lot of loyalty to perfume parlor. It was what got me into collecting fragrances, it, it's what got me into niche fragrances, my gateway into niche, if you like. So I always like to see what's going on, see what they're producing, and uh, pass that information on to you guys, because a lot of them now, I can compare them directly with the original fragrances that I own, which is what I'm gonna do today. So all the fragrances in this video, I own the originals as well. Let's get the video started off with the first perfume parlor fragrance. Now this is one that I bought the original of fairly recently. Absolutely love this. This was in my winter top 10 fragrances. So the original is Tom Ford's Noir Extreme and Perfume Parlor's version is called Intense Black. And this is a sweet floral fragrance. Maybe even leans a little gourmand, uh, particularly because it's got that kulfi note in there. Now, the Perfume Parlor version is so good. It's so close to the original. Maybe this one is just a touch sweeter, but in terms of longevity, you know, the honest truth is, I think I maybe got a little bit more out of this. Uh, sprayed this on before going to bed in the morning. I could still smell the Tom Ford, but I think this was just pumping off a little bit stronger. So really good to take on Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. If you like that fragrance, intense black. is shining 24 7 because when we're together it feels like we're in heaven if it will get dark you'll be my million stars i know i can lean on you, Ooh, you so the next one is just an incredible fragrance now one of the things i love about perfume parlor is that you can try expensive more complex more nuanced niche fragrances for a very low price. I think these 30 mil sprayers are around about five pounds. So this one is one of my favorite niche fragrances, Shaggy, tobacco, incense, it's floral, just a really complex nuanced fragrance. Now, I feel like Perfume Parlor do a great job with the designers. And sometimes, even with the more complex niche fragrances, they do a really great job. Sometimes they get quite close. It's still a very enjoyable scent, but, doesn't quite nail it. Now I think that they do that with Shergi. So Perfume Parlor's version is called Easterner and you know it gets you in the ballpark. It uh, gives you a bit of an idea. I know, gives you a bit of an idea, allows you to appreciate what direction the fragrance is going in. I think it's one of those that if you really, really love the DNA, you'll probably want to buy a bottle. But as a place to get you started and give you a good idea of what Shergi smells like, the Perfume Parlor one is a good option. Okay, next we're going with just one of my favorite boozy fragrances. This is the Boozy Baronna from Nasamato. Musky, smooth, the amber seed gives this gorgeous whiskey accord. The Perfume Parlor version is called Confusion. It's perhaps not quite as rich, not 
quite as long lasting as the original but it does behave in a similar way the original stays quite close to the skin and this one does the same but you do get that lovely smooth whiskey accord from this so again if you like this you might want to buy the original but it's going to give you a very very good idea of what Bronda smells like maybe you don't want to spend Nasmato prices if you don't this is ideal this kind of feeling never felt so real. My heart is on the table cause you're my everything I do, 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 I wanna marry you Cause when you're around I know it's true ooh, ooh, The way you make me feel is so good baby So part of the walk involves getting up on this ridge and we've got some stunning views out over the countryside there and just as I've literally pressed record I don't know if you can see but it's started to snow so this might be the start of a heavy blizzard or it might just fizzle away and become nothing but maybe we'll have white countryside as a backdrop by the end of the walk we'll see now this next one I am seriously impressed with I only smelt this for the first time the other day and I was surprised so this is a fragrance called eminent wood and this is perfume parlor's take on initials oud for greatness so expensive niche fragrance smells pretty complex it smells fantastic quality and perfume parlor i've got surprisingly close the only criticism i would make is in the first five minutes of spraying this fragrance it maybe just smells a little sharper not quite as rounded as the original but after that i sprayed both side by side and it just smelt so close so I'm pretty gobsmacked that Perfume Parlor have managed to get so close to such a high quality niche fragrance. Similar performance in terms of projection and longevity, very very impressed with Eminent Wood. Remember that time we went to Liverpool and uh, I wore that fragrance and you said you really liked it, it was really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah? it was good. Yeah. Very, very expensive fragrance called Oud for Greatness. I've got a bottle for you, there you oh, go. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's all right, my present. Thanks. I'll wear that. This one is a great example of Perfume Parlor doing a designer fragrance really well. One of my favourite designers is Amen Pure Havan. This one has got a name just as good. It's called Amen, Pure Heaven, for men. This is honey and tobacco. This was one of the first perfume parlors I tried. I sprayed this and I just had to stop, have a little uh, sit down and really appreciate how much I love this scent. Off the back of that, I ended up eventually buying a bottle of the original. But if you want a cheaper version, if you want to get an idea of what Pure Havan smells like before you buy a bottle, this is a very, very good interpretation. And uh, oh, looks like it's uh, snack time. Let's see if there's a mince pie left for me. Is there some mince pies left for me? Yeah, mince pie. Thank you. Cheers. Hello. Mm. Oh, my mince pie. Can't meet them. You missed out on hot chocolate, squirty cream and marshmallows. Is that my hot chocolate? I can share it. Thank you very much. All right, the next one is from a house I really love. It's by Killian and it is a very expensive house. You're paying around about £185 for 50 ml. For years, before I actually finally bought myself a bottle, I really enjoyed this perfume parlor version. It's close. I'd say it's perhaps not quite as rich as the Killian, but it certainly does the job. I remember wearing the Killian one Christmas when I went ice skating with my family and I can put the perfume parlor version on and it gives me all the same feels. It brings back the memories. So it certainly replicates that DNA that's close enough to trigger that scent memory for me. And it's called Noir Illusion and it's their version of Black Phantom. Really good interpretation. If Killian is out of your price range, definitely check this one out. You know when I said I had the original bottles of all the 10 fragrances in this video? I lied. 
but that's only because this is a perfume parlor original and there isn't an original bottle so this one is called rose tobacco can you guess what notes might be in this one this is a really solid tobacco fragrance it kind of reminds me of tobacco vanille but it's not as sweet it's not as loud as that fragrance it's not got the the cloves that tobacco vanille has the rose in here is not a strong rose at all it's a really nicely done subtle rose certainly doesn't lean feminine I don't think many people would put on this fragrance and instantly think oh it's a really rosy fragrance really gorgeously composed scent from perfume parlor really solid tobacco if you love your tobacco this one is definitely worth trying out So one of the fragrances that was on my winter list and I absolutely adore is Maison Margiela's By The Fireplace. Such a, a warming, resinous, woody, sweet, roasted chestnut type of chord. And again, the Perfume Parlor one surprised me. You know, it's a really robust, strong smelling fragrance and you'd think a fragrance that is a clone, a fragrance that is perhaps made with cheaper materials couldn't quite replicate it but for me I can barely tell the difference between that so it's called wood fire and you just get all the coziness all the warmth all the depth of the original really really impressed with this one if you're looking for a good winter warmer then wood fire is a banger The next one is another of my favourite designer fragrances that contains the note of tobacco. This is my favourite from the One Million line and the Perfume Parlour version pretty much nails it as far as I can tell. So the original is One Million Privé and Perfume Parlour's version is called Secret Man. It just seems to replicate the DNA to me. I don't think it's a hard DNA to replicate, it's not a very complex DNA but it's just a really well done fragrance. Perfume Parlors just nails every element of it for me. Really enjoy Secret Man. I heard, and don't quote me on this, it might not be true, but I did hear someone say that One Million Privé may be getting discontinued. Not sure about that, but if it does, then Perfume Parlor will be keeping the dream alive with Secret Man. Alright, gonna make it quick for this last one and it's quite appropriate because we've got some extreme weather coming in. I don't know if you can see that on camera but I think there's either some sleet or rain or, or blizzard coming in. Anyway, the fragrance I'm talking about in this extreme weather, well, not really very extreme but um, you know, it was a nice link for the fragrance. It's Spice Bomb Extreme and Perfume Parlor's version is called Intense Aroma Exploding. Just nails the DNA, it gets it. I was so surprised how spot on this one is. It gets the scent, it gets the performance, it gets the fun, playful, sexy, lively vibe of the scent, but it also gets that warm, cozy, sensual side of the fragrance as well. Perfume Parlor have just done a sterling job with Intense Aroma Exploding. If you like Spice Bomb Extreme or you've never tried it, then I can highly recommend this. Really, really good job. So there we go, my top 10 winter recommendations for Perfume Parlour. If you did want to pick any of these up, I do have an affiliate link. Please don't feel obligated to use it, but if you do, it really helps the channel out. I'll leave that in the description for you. So we're just finishing our walk. We're walking back in along the river. It's a little bit less exposed. We were up on a ridge up there and I have to apologize. I was hoping for wintry weather. I wanted white snowy fields in the background. I wanted blizzards 
the whole of winter works. So sorry I couldn't provide that for you, but you've got some nice countryside and you've got some fantastic perfume parlor recommendations. Let me know what your favorite perfume parlor fragrances are at the moment. I look forward to hearing from you on that. Right, we're just finishing our walk. We're gonna walk along this river back to the car. I hope you've enjoyed coming on a walk through the Yorkshire countryside. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next one. With you the sun is shining 24 seven. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Oh, you catch me like a leaf falling from a tree. If I be a shooting star, you make a wish. No, I don't fake this kind of feeling, never felt so real. My heart is on the table, cause you're my everything. I do, 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 I wanna marry you. Cause when you're around, I know it's true, ooh, ooh, the way.